iOS 16.2 is out and I'm going to share with you the best new features, which includes the, the option to disable the wallpaper and notifications on the always on display for the iPhones 14 Pro and Pro Max. But before I get started with the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and also if you're already updated to iOS 16.2, let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. Set app is an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. So starting off on iOS 16.2, you now have the ability to disable wallpaper and notifications for the always on display feature on the iPhones 14 Pro and Pro Max. One of the best things about it is that, of course, besides looking great, is that it will save battery. So I highly recommend you enable this, at least for the wallpaper. I do like having my notifications. So make sure you go to settings, press on display and brightness, go down, press on always on display, and right here you have the ability to disable or to leave both of them enabled. If by any chance you want to only disable the wallpaper, you can do that. And again, this is how it will look, but you will still get your notifications down here. Now, one of the most commented features of iOS 16.2 is Apple Music Sing, which pretty much brings karaoke features to Apple Music. This feature provides the users real-time lyrics for iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see right here, blinding lights from the weekend, it has this icon right here on the right side, and this is exactly the icon that will show up for you if Apple Music Sync is available for that track. By pressing on it, you can increase or decrease vocals, so you can sing along the singer, or you can um, decrease the volume and sing by yourself. Something really cool is that the lyrics will move to the rhythm, so you can actually sing and time it really well. Different from the lyrics section on Apple Music, and I highly recommend you test it if you, of course, like to sing along the music that you like. And Apple Music Sync will even allow you to make a duet with your favorite singer, for example, because it will have a duet view um, showing the singer and you. This feature is limited to the iPhones that have the A13 chip or newer, which means that this works on the iPhones 11 or later. So if by any chance this is not working for you, it may be because you have a older device. Now, talking about privacy, the advanced data protection now expands end-to-end -end encryption to additional iCloud data categories. So make sure you go to settings, press on your name, tap on iCloud, go down and tap on advanced data protection. Right here, you can check all of the services that can be used um, in this encryption and it will encrypt device backup, messages backup, iCloud Drive, notes, photos, reminders, Safari bookmarks, Siri shortcuts, voice memos, and wallet passes. This feature will not be enabled automatically. You have to go to settings, iCloud, and tap on advanced data protection and then enable it. And the reason why is because you have to set a different password to um, get access to your data if by any chance you lose it or you can even set a contact that will have the ability to recover your data if needed now unfortunately i'm currently in brazil and this is not available here at the moment but if you are in the us for example you will have the option to enable it right here now, talking about AirDrop, Apple said that they included this new setting to cut down AirDrop 
spam and you will understand it in a second. If you go to the airdrops, airdrop settings and you want to enable everyone, now you only have the option to enable it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it goes back to contacts only. So I'm pretty sure you've watched funny videos about this of users sending um, photos of a particular, I don't even know, an example to give you at this moment. But you probably saw funny videos about people airdropping photos to other iPhone users at the airport or train station and things like that. So Apple wants to limit this. Apple doesn't want this to happen anymore. So that is why this feature is now limited to 10 minutes. And now talking about Siri, if you want to make Siri responses silent, you can do this now on iOS 16.2. So make sure you go to settings, tap on Siri and search, tap on Siri responses and right here, prefer silent responses. As you can see, Siri will respond silently except when you appear to be driving or using headphones with the screen off. So if by any chance you're using headphones and you lock your iPhone, it will not um, work at that moment, but then it will go back to silent responses after you unlock your iPhone. And next, iOS 16.2 also brings you a new application, which is called Freeform, and it is now available for um, the iPhone. So of course, iOS 16.2, iPadOS 16.2, and also macOS Ventura 13.1. This application was designed for users to collaborate. So you can put down notes, you can draw, you can add post-it notes, you can add images. So you can, there's tons of features that you can use. So you can plan new projects, you can design mood boards, you can brainstorm ideas, you can even do like a mind map right here. And as I mentioned, you can collaborate with other users. And something really cool about it is that it updates automatically in real time. So you can see what everyone is doing while you're also working in the document. This is pretty cool. And of course, there are tons of features available. If you can, as I mentioned, you can draw, you can write. So I keep thinking that for iPad users, this will be incredible. And now that we mentioned iPad users, Stage Manager is now working with external monitors once again. So for the M1 and M2 iPads, you now have the ability to use your external display and to take advantage of the stage manager feature. It will still work with the M1 and M2 iPads or the iPad Pros powered by the A12X and the A12Z chip. And last but not least, iOS 16.2 also brings other features and bug fixes such as the ProMotion lag fix, for closing and switching between applications, the crash detection optimization that now prevents users from accidentally contacting emergency services when enjoying a roller coaster, for example, you don't want this to happen. Now there are news on the weather app. It is not available in my location, but it is now available in um, the US. Um, you also have improved search in messages, a new iCloud private release setting to disable, um, that allows you to disable it temporarily for a particular Safari site. And 5G is now available in India. So iOS 16.2 unlocked this for iPhone users. So now that many carriers are offering 5G speeds. And these are the main new features of iOS 16.2. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.